Hey everybody, happy Sunday. This video brings us out to Boyertown, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we're out here today is to take a look at something pretty interesting, something um, rather historical, uh, but built in the, the early 1940s. It's pretty neat. I've always wanted to actually pull over and check this place out. I've driven past it a couple of times right here by this, this old train trestle here. No idea if trains still go over top of that or not. Who knows? We're actually at the corner right now of Spring Street and Reading Avenue. Right down the street is actually a really awesome old historical um, movie theater that I've actually been to a couple times. My aunt used to take me out there all the time when I was a kid, it was really neat. So I've driven past this a lot of times going out to that old historical movie theater. It's actually still open to this day. Maybe someday we'll actually go out there and uh, go to a film there. Last time I was there was a couple of years ago. They were actually doing a Save the Clock Tower event here in Boyertown. It's an old church with a clock tower on top of it. It was falling into disrepair. They wanted to save it. So of course they showed Back to the Future. All proceeds from the showing actually went to uh, raise money for the clock tower. It was really cool. The clock is now working. The proceeds, the, the charity did indeed work. So anyway, we're not here to talk about the old theater though, but we will take a look at that someday. We're here to actually take a look at something pretty amazing. It's a restaurant in the shape of a cup. Check this out. Again, built in the early 1940s. This was actually one of, I believe it said three of these that existed in the area. They were actually old um, ice cream stores. So a, a dairy company actually built these and served ice cream out of them back in the 1940s. Now it's CD's place, catering and eater eat catering and eatery though i don't believe you can actually eat inside there right now their website actually said that only doing catering at this point in time i guess due to the pandemic still or something i have no idea why but apparently only catering going on right now here but still this place used to actually be called the cup for a while served food back in the day that's what i remember i remember coming past here as a kid and seeing this cup shaped restaurant that was actually called the cup used to say that really big right there on top used to say the cup now it does not anymore since 2003 it's been cd's place still pretty awesome just the fact that it is a restaurant with a giant cup coming out of it has a um i guess maybe you could say a stir or i'm thinking maybe a straw maybe a spoon handle i don't know what do you think that is if it's a cup what would be coming out of there would it be a straw would it be a stir a spoon handle i'm not entirely sure what that would be if it's a cup i'm, I'm going with a I'm gonna go with a, a straw. It's a straw coming out of there. Looks like it actually has some neon light on it at one point. I don't know if it still works or not. Pretty awesome though. This place is really, really cool looking. Look at that. So CD's place, also known as The Cup, out here in Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Again, on the corner of Reading Avenue and Spring Street. That is just too neat. I love architecture that's in the shape of anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a, if it's a cup or an elephant or I, whatever it is. If it's architecture and it's in the shape of something, I'm on board, I'm intrigued, and this is so cool. The fact that this has been around since the 1940s is totally awesome as well. That is just too cool. So apparently there were, like I said, there were three of these at one point, all, oh no, something's going on. There were three, three of these at one point, all serving ice cream out of them. I have no idea if the other two actually still exist or not. They might, they might not. Something's going on. Hope everybody's okay. There's a ambulance coming down the street right now. Anyway, hope everybody's okay. Hope everybody's all right. But like I said, there were three of these at one point in the area that used to exist, all serving ice cream. I have no idea if they actually still exist, the other ones still exist or not. This is the only one I know of. I'm gonna to to do some, some um, research, look up some history, see if the other two are still in existence. This might be the only one left. I'm not sure. If you know, leave a comment down below because I would really like to know. But at least this one does still exist in some form, no longer serving, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's ice cream inside. I would hope this place would still, to some extent, serve ice cream. Maybe they have like a soft serve ice cream machine or something, something like that would be nice. Don't know if they still, if they, oh my God, I can't talk, it's been a long day. Don't know if they do still serve, that's what I'm trying to say. I love these unedited vlogs. You can you listen to me stumble through them. No longer serving ice cream here, to my knowledge, I have no idea. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, I'm not entirely sure. But at least they have hamburgers and at least it still is in the shape of a giant cup too cool i kind of wish i could go inside actually get myself something to drink right now i just got done doing some thrifting with uh, my friend mike over at jake's flea market which is not too far away a couple miles that way in bartow pennsylvania it's very warm outside i haven't really had anything to drink since like we started thrifting many hours ago really want to get myself a nice coca-cola some i don't know i'm thinking some caffeine to wake me up a nice cold coke on my throat right now would be fantastic and maybe allow me to actually speak properly.
but sadly, I think they're only doing catering only, so I cannot go inside. Look at that, oh yes, still closed, still catering. Yes, look at that. But how cool, come on. It's a, it's a restaurant in the shape of a cup. Hope this sticks around for a while, even though they're only doing catering. Hope the uh, company's still doing well. Hope they're still making money. And I hope eventually this actually opens back up. Maybe at some point we can come back here, go inside. I have no idea if there's any historical photos inside. I don't know what this place looks like. It would be kind of cool to go inside the cup. I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I know it's CD. I know it's CD's place. I'm still calling it the cup because it is a cup. I want to go inside the cup and see what is inside there. See what it actually looks like inside this restaurant. So maybe someday we can do that. But for right now, it is catering only. They are closed and we cannot go inside, unfortunately. Someday, hopefully. But for now, I just want to bring you guys out here, show you this awesome restaurant, or what was a restaurant, now a catering service, in the shape of a giant roadside cup. Because that is too cool. We'll walk around the back really quick. I thought I saw some interesting, like, graffiti, like, sign back here I wanted to show you guys. I think it's just for CD's place, but it looked really cool. It's pretty awesome. It's a tiny little place. It's not very big. I can't imagine inside there's much seating because, I mean, it, uh, where would they cook? Here we go. Yeah, look at this. Oh, CD's place. Oh, uh, with a uh, knife and a fork? That's pretty cool. I don't know who did the graffiti back here, but that's pretty neat. There's a hamburger, some fries, shakes, hot dog. Oh, and what I want right now, a nice, delicious soda. That'd be so great. That's what I'm going to do after this. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm immediately going to McDonald's getting myself a large Coke, because let's face it, when it comes to Cokes, who, who out there has the best Cokes? We all know it's McDonald's. McDonald's has the best soda out of all the fast food franchises. McDonald's is the best. I hear it has something to do with the way they serve it. Apparently it's like in cylinders or something like that. Something, something they do makes their Coke stand out from everybody else's Coke. I think we can all agree. I've seen memes that say the same thing. So I'm not the only one who thinks this. Do you think that? Do you think that McDonald's has the best soda out of all the fast food franchises? I'm thinking that's the case. But regardless, if they were open, I'd be getting a soda from in here right now because I need something to drink. But it's awesome. So, all right, guys, again, just want to bring you out here quickly, show you this really cool roadside attraction, CD's Place, otherwise known as The Cup, built in the early 1940s as a ice cream parlor. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Unfortunately, like I said, we cannot go inside. They're only doing catering right now, but eventually, it's a very busy road, by the way. But eventually, hopefully, possibly, they'll open back up. And if they do, I'll bring you guys back out here. We'll go inside, maybe get a burger, maybe get a Coke, a milkshake, hot dog, who knows, some french fries. We'll get something. I do want to go inside there. I do want to see what is inside the cup. I'm hoping they have old historical photos, maybe some history on this place inside there. That'd be pretty neat. That's what I would do. If I, if I owned an old historical restaurant like this, I would totally have all kinds of old historical photos. I would, I would dig up any article, any photo, anything I could possibly find from back in the day. And I would, like, I would adorn the walls and all that stuff because I, I would want everybody to know about the history of this place. Too cool. So, all right guys, we're going to go now. I know I've been saying that. I need, I need to go get a drink though. Roadside Cup here in Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Again, on the corner of Spring Street and Reading Avenue. If you're ever out here, check this place out. If you ever go to the really awesome old school movie theater down there, it's a, it's a one screen theater. If you ever go to that, literally drive down like one block down the road towards the YMCA and this train trestle, drive down the road. It's actually um, down past the town. The, the town of Boyertown is that way, like the main street is that way. You drive down and you can see the cup, AKA CD's place. I know, I should be calling it what it is. CD's place, forget the, forget the eatery. Forget the eatery part, where's that? Forget the eatery part. It's just catering right now. I know I should be calling it CD's Place, but I can't help but to call it The Cup because it is a cup. And when I was a kid, that was its name. You used to see the cup plastered right there on the front. And I used to drive past here thinking, oh my gosh, it's a building in the shape of a cup. It was so cool. Why I never asked my aunt to pull over and take us here to get food, I don't know. Actually, it's a lie because we wanted Happy Meals, that's why. Because my, my brother and I, we wanted either a Happy Meal or a Burger King Kids Club meal. That's what we wanted. As cool as it would have been to go here. See, now as an adult, I think, oh man, I should have eaten here. But as a kid, I was like, no, I want a toy. I want a little toy. That's, that's what I want. Anyway, guys, all right. CD's Place, Boyertown, Pennsylvania, aka The Cup, building in the shape of a cup. Too awesome. But we're going to go now because, again, it is very, very warm out. We're still in the middle of the heat wave. And I need to get myself something to drink because it's been about... I don't know, three, four hours since I've actually had anything at all to drink. I had a bottle of water. I, I, I properly hydrated myself, but that was again like four hours ago and 
I've been in the heat since, so I'm dying, but all right. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness, all my Cinema Sickness stores, so all different links down below. Also check down below for a link to Cinema Sickness, my daily thrifting channel for daily thrifting videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you hit that subscribe button, you will see me tomorrow. So again, restaurant in the shape of a cup, too awesome. All right, Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Check it out if you're ever here and leave a hashtag. If you take some pictures with uh, what's with Dave today, if you do. I can't even talk anymore. I'm gonna go. So, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. So hot. Bye.